Welcome to Mind Your Business, the channel where we are in a everybody business. If you don't mind getting in people's business, you're on the right channel. Talking about current topics and gossip. So yes, the Love Island mix-up continues and it has been another crazy and interesting mix-up week. So of course we left off with it on a cliffhanger. We had Joanna and Michael in the bottom and it was decision time. Who was going to leave the island? Was it going to be Joanna or was it going to be Michael? And to no surprise, it was Joanna that got it voted off by the fellow islanders with the majority voting for Michael to stay. Michael gave a big speech about the one that he liked apparently leaving the villa, you know, he found what he was looking for and she's leaving the villa, but he decided not to leave with her, so go figure. Anyway, Joanna was not impressed with that and when he tried to go and hug her, she stormed off. She also, you know, had a few words with him and called him an effing snake because basically he wasn't going to leave with her. He tried to say some rubbish about how do you know I was going to leave. He still didn't leave anyway, so she's gone off and obviously not very happy about it. Now, before all this happened, don't forget Amber did confess her feelings to him again and say that she liked him and he didn't even respond to her at that, right? So obviously now fast forward, you know, his coupled up woman Joanna has left the, the villa and they return back because this all happened at the club right so they return back to the villa and then Michael at some point decides to call Amber over and not in a very polite way either you know he just shouts at her and tells her to sit down like she's a dog Godspeed Same bro Amber Oh my god Sit down for us. Pardon? Sit down. <laughs> Did she just let him talk to her like that? Sit down. Now, at that point, I was like, okay, enough is enough, Michael. Like, Amber ripped his head off. But she didn't. I think she was kind of shocked at the way he spoke to her and was taken aback. And later on, she did say, you know, if this was on the outside, she wouldn't let anyone speak to her like that. So she was definitely shocked by the way he behaved. Later on, we find that Curtis and Maura couple up, no surprise there, and leaving Francesca on her own with Billy no mates and no one to bed up with. Um, on Tuesday's episode, we find Michael, you know, sees the error of his ways, but thanks to Obi, that is, because none of Amber's friends actually pointed out the way he spoke to her was bang out of order. And she was a bit annoyed about this and did take this up with Maura. Um, Mama and her had a, a chat about it, but what was really nice was to see Obi, who is a lovely character. He basically said to Michael, like, would you be happy if someone spoke to your, you know, your sister or your mum like that, basically? And then Michael seemed to see the error of his ways and decided to go and apologise to Amber. And what I do like about Obi is that, you know, from what we can see on or what's been shown to us, he didn't really go and say to Amber, oh yeah, it was me that made Michael go and speak to you. He didn't say any of that. So you can see that he's like a genuine person. He's a real friend. But yes, he had a word and basically, you know, uh, Michael decided to take her aside and apologise to Amber, which was good. I mean, she broke down crying and she's been having a hard, was having a hard time in there at that point in time. Francesca was upset, of course, because she didn't get picked, but she took it on the chin very well. And then later on, we have Ovi and Chris getting picked to go on dates with some new girls that were joining the island. Now, uh, the first girl, Harley, uh, takes Ovi for a date and they seem to, you know, get along. But you can tell that she kind of likes him, but he's not really into her, but you know, he's kind of a light guy, right? And from, I saw India, I thought, okay, that's gonna be his type because he seems to like that sort of kind of girl. Um, Chris went on the date with India, who's the second new girl, which I immediately thought would end up with Ovi. And um, they had a good date. There was lots of laughs and things like that. And it ended, that episode ended with Amber getting a text saying that she had been picked for a date with New Islander, Greg, okay? Michael looks fake happy and tells her to have a lovely time. Now, midweek on Wednesday, you know, it continues with uh, Amber on her date. You know, she had a little trouble getting through the door, but she made it through. They had a nice little toast. You know, he came along saying that he wanted to spoil her and that he'd seen what had happened and what had gone down with, you know, the whole Michael situation, the way that she was treated. So that was really nice to hear and see someone putting a smile on Amber's face. 
Now, they return from the day all quite happy. Greg meets everyone, everything is all well. And of course, uh, OV does like India and makes that known when he returns back from his date with Harley um, to Chris when he's sitting there with the boys and they're talking about how their date went. And, um, and Tom returns to the house to find out that there's new housemates because he's been ill. So of course he wants to know what's going on, but back to India and, and Ovi. So he says to Chris that he likes her that evening. And what do you know, in the morning, the girls get a text saying, you know, you can take someone else for a day and India picks Ovi, much to his delight. And they go for a breakfast date. And Harley decides to pick Michael for a breakfast date. And so they go off and have their breakfast date in the island villa. But you can see Ovi and Indra have a little connection and that they definitely uh, fancy each other. Now, seeing that Amber is uh, glowing from, you know, Greg, there's a point where Michael decides to tell Ovi and Jordan that, you know, he still likes Amber. Well, surprise, surprise. And uh, tells them that, you know, he is going to basically tell her how he feels. And then he goes over later on and sees, you know, Greg and Amber hanging out and asks us to steal her for a chat. Of course, it ends on that cliffhanger. And we pick it back up with, you know, him talking to her and saying, you know, that basically he has been a bit of a dickhead. We've been saying that, bruv, you know, a bit of a dickhead, bruv. Seriously, you've been a major dickhead. Anyway, um, and that, you know, it was hard to speak because of the situation. And, you know, he did take it out on her. He did apologise, but to me, he was still, you know, a little bit reserved. He apologised. He kind of put his, his pride aside, had he said. But to me, he didn't fully own it and wasn't as accountable as he could have been. You know, he took her aside and then like, the amount of times he embarrassed her there was quite shocking. But, you know, he did apologise. I mean, just about. So, of course, with having that, that conversation, Amber is a bit confused, but also gassed about the situation because, you know, she did want you know Michael to come and come back with her she still likes Michael she had feelings for Michael but now that she's met Greg and she's happy you know she's still questioning Michael's motives and rightfully so you know she's asking questions like you know what would you have done that if Joanna was still in the house and the fact that he says yes I really don't believe him and I don't think she believed him either Now, you know, they had that conversation, but to me, he still could have done a bit more uh, apologising, but still, at least he got there. Um, They had the challenge later on that day, and of course, it's the Men at Work challenge. They all are dressed up like some builders, and it is a hilarious challenge. And Michael decides to save Amber, and at the end of it, snogs her face off. Or should I say, sucks her face off. My goodness. Whereas Greg also, who decides he's going to, of course, save Amber, kisses her on the cheek, you know, a bit more gentleman-like, you know, which is quite sweet. He didn't just go in for one. Ovi. So Ovi was hilarious in that challenge, actually. So, I mean, all the boys were quite funny. But I did crack up at Obi. All the women were going crazy on social media because all the women who were to be rescued were sitting waiting in wheelbarrows. So uh, when he goes to pick up Indo, the one he chose to pick up, um, he picks up her and the wheelbarrow and picks her up and walks around. So of course all the guys are going crazy. She's loving it and the girls loving it and the whole of the UK have been loving watching it, which was quite funny. And um, yeah, so he done really well in that challenge. And then you had Chris, who also liked India, obviously, because he went on a date with her too. And he does the same challenge and he picks her hair up, obviously not in the wall barrel, but he picks her up and he decides to choose her. And it's interesting because I thought, oh my gosh, that poor girl Harley didn't get picked by anyone in that challenge. She was just left there. Everyone, I think, had someone pick them up or go for them. Uh, apart from Harley. Moving swiftly on. Later on that night, uh, you've got Ovi having a chat with India and they have a little sneaky kiss. They like each other. And we got Ovi doing his little Superman run to celebrate his night, <laughs> which was already really cute. What made me laugh, though, was seeing on the Thursday night where, you know, Michael has confessed his feelings and, you know, he doesn't know what's going to happen. And, you know, he's basically sweating that night and looking like, oh my goodness, what's going to happen here? And I just felt good. 
good feel the burn you know there's someone in the other in the house that likes amber and now you want to be liking amber too really you had your chance dude anyway so the next day of course it's the big day we know that you know the girls are going to be recoupling it means that it's decision time for amber okay and for the decision time of course it means she's going to pick either greg or michael so who's it going to be Greg obviously has been really nice to her. The girls are encouraging her to choose Greg because he has been so sweet to her and, you know, they've been um, really kind of getting on long quite well. Um, Michael, of course, is hoping that, you know, he'll get, get picked. Okay, so also on that night, because India and Ovia are getting along so well, Chris realises, and Chris is quite a hilarious character, he realises that actually... India's not going to be a go for him. As you know, she doesn't like him like that. You know, he tried his play, tried it, but it's just not going to happen. So he uh, decides to go and talk to Harley and him and Harley start getting on. And, you know, they make each other laugh. Um, you can tell, obviously, they weren't initially each other's types, but they, you know, come together by default almost, I suppose. Even though Francesca's in the house, but obviously that's maybe not his type either. So he went for Harley and they seem to be getting along okay. So when it does come to recoupling time, India goes for Ovi, of course, all right? And then Harley decides to go for Chris because the two new girls get to choose first. And he is quite hilarious. Um, side note, can people leave poor Harley's teeth alone on social media? Oh, my days. Social media is cruel, I tell you, okay? I was like, what? Let's not send this girl round the bend when she comes out. Wow. But anyway, <laughs> I digress. Mora goes for curses, of course, because they were obviously coupled up earlier in the week and much to, you know, Francesca's despair. Uh, Molly, of course, with Tommy because they are boyfriend and girlfriend, no surprise there. Belle chose Anton, they obviously coupled up and she really likes him. And then Anna chose Jordan, of course. And then Amber has the biggest decision to make. Will she go for Michael, the one she has a connection with that she's liked for so long? Or will she go for Greg? It's a new connection. He's put a smile on her face since he's been there, right? And she goes for Greg. Good for you, Amber. And Michael looks gutted. Woo, how does it feel? My goodness. Now, Francesca did crack me up because she obviously has to go for Michael, but you know, she, her comments for why she chose Michael were hilarious. And the comment about him being an expert in building connections and also saying that she didn't really have a choice had me cracking up. And yeah, Michael was laughing, but you know, I'm sure he felt the burn. Now, after the coupling up, um, Michael goes off and speaks to the boys saying he knew it would go like that and that Amber would, you know, choose Greg and that you know he's not really happy about it but you know he's fine with it and that you know i was glad to, i must say i was glad to see amber make this move you know she does like him but she deserves so much more and he didn't fully own his his whole you know shit all the shit he put through he didn't really own it all so he didn't deserve to get her back so i don't blame her for moving on he didn't take responsibility for his behavior you know he admitted he was a dickhead yeah that, 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 that's cool i thought that's a step in the right direction michael anyway amber and greg seem like they got on really well and they do well in the challenge for the next day and you know it's quite an awkward moment when the question comes about up about you know who would your partner kiss you know if they had to and you know uh, both Greg and Amber said it would be Michael Michael of course is seeing their little chemistry and that they got most of the questions right and were quite you know fine and he still wants her back basically but you know it's interesting because at one point he does take her aside and says to her that you know he doesn't think that he could see Amber and Greg doing well on outside like is it your business what you can see well mind your own business sorry yeah this is my business channel but yeah he needs to mind his business on that sorry yeah seriously get it together dude so he's too damn well inner and feisty and anyway Amber just kind of like I think didn't really take it too seriously and was just probably thinking mm, you're just being manipulative because that's what he was doing I digress I must say that you know I do think Michael still wanted Amber back and you know she still had some feelings but she'd done the right thing about moving on and what annoys me is that they were my favourite couple until he acted like a big fool and done this whole thing and like he said he did own that at one point and said you know this is all because of what he did and you're damn right it's all because of what you did and the way you handled it and what was interesting about that, that um, challenge that uh, Greg and Amber were all, the, all of them had to do 
um, when they asked about the most embarrassing moment for Amber, they both said Casa Amor, okay? And so Michael should feel pretty shit for that, definitely. You know, I think it's quite interesting just watching and seeing how he was behaving now that she was on the other foot. You know, Amber had to watch him walk around, ignoring her and pandering to Joanna, whereas, you know, I didn't feel like Amber was necessarily, you know, rubbing it in his face. She was just getting along with it and being quite cool. Amber didn't bother him and now he's, you know, interrupting Greg and declaring his feelings, uh, you know, to Amber. And, and now that Amber's coupled up, you know, with Greg, he's telling her they won't work on the outside. I mean, it's just a bitter Betty Michael. <laughs> you want your girl back now, eh? Or were you a bit too late? So, and at that point I was wondering, I wonder how Joanna was feeling watching this because, you know, he was telling her a whole load of rubbish about, you know, he didn't feel for her at Amber anymore and all this kind of stuff. So. Poor Joanna is probably on the outside watching it thinking, what the hell are you doing, boy? And glad that she is not in there anymore. I also wasn't impressed to see him use the same blame tactics again, okay? Rather than accepting and being accountable, just like when he got with Joanna and left Amber, he started bad mouthing Amber. Now it was Joanna's turn to get a bit of a bad mouth, saying that she seemed a bit too distant and all this kind of stuff. So to me, he really does have issues and an enormous pride and an enormous ego that will, you know, if he doesn't keep it in check, that's just gonna mess him up. So he needs to learn from that and learn from his behavior on how he's handling this whole situation. Anyway, so Maura and Curtis, as I said, they're all loved up now that they, you know, are coupled up and, you know, they are definitely seem to be acting as though they've got the connection, but there's something about them. They just don't seem, there's something about them and I, you know, that I just don't buy. I don't know what it is, but there is something there. But, you know, they were apparently getting up some things the other night and, you know, Curtis is talking about how he liked her from the start and I'm thinking, uh, you forgot about Amy pretty quickly, didn't you? I hope she's not tuning into all of this. Um, but yeah, there's an, they're an interesting couple, I'd say, okay? And seeing them go on their little date the other day, it just seemed really awkward. I don't know if it was a case of nervous energy, but it just seemed really awkward and dry, like there wasn't much of a connection there, I don't know. But um, over in India, I think they're a really cute couple. You know, they both seem pretty gassed to be coupled up with each other. You know, he's got a big smile in his face and she's got a big smile on hers, you know. And I know that there are many ladies that were tuned in and maybe not so excited to see him couple up with India, but at least he's finally found someone in there, which is really nice. Now, as I mentioned Anton earlier, Anton took some time out because apparently he was ill and was missing from the villa and returned to hearing about the scene Michael U turn on his feelings for Amber and to three new islanders, you know, and Anton, of course, being the messy mayor that he can be, had to say that he didn't know, apparently, he didn't know that Michael still had feelings for Amber and he's meant to be one of his best friends. How? How? Please, how? Jordan, Anna... OV, the whole of the UK could see it, even Joanna could see it, like how can you not see it, please. So on Friday it ended with um, it being announced that the public would be voting to save their favourite couple, so whoever's in the bottom would get booted. So yeah, on Sunday it was interesting because we had to get someone dumped from the island at the end of the show, and who went? I had a feeling that Michael and Francesca would be in the bottom because obviously Michael and Francesca were a couple and the public were voting to save their favourite couple. So I was thinking it might be Michael or Anna or the new people, Harley and Chris. So in the end, um, it came down to, uh, it was between Anna and Jordan, Francesca and Michael and Harley and Chris, as I thought it would be. Now, it was left to the Islanders to decide, you know, which couple they were going to save and which one had to go. So they just all had to say which couple they wanted to save. So the majority saved Anna and Jordan. And I'm kind of intrigued as to why Anna and Jordan are in the bottom. People really don't seem to like Anna or something. I don't know what it is. Is it Anna or is it Jordan? What is it with these two? Like, I'm, I'm over the whole Ovi and Anna situation. He's moved on. So I don't know what the beef is with Anna. Please do tell me below, people. But anyway... So Anna got saved, Anna and Jordan got saved by their housemates, luckily. And because Harley and Chris got one vote, um, they got saved and Michael and Francesca didn't get any votes. So those two had to leave the island. So sadly, Francesca had to leave and she did make me laugh, particularly when um, when she had to pick Michael. That was my little highlight for her. 
but it was sad to see her go because you know she didn't get a chance so it's poor Francesca didn't get a chance to find love so it was sad to see her go you know I must say I was happy that Michael pulled Amber aside to say that actually you know he's glad to see her happy and that actually you know maybe Greg and her would maybe work on the outside and she was kind of chuffed that he did that and was kind of said you know he is a really nice guy really and yeah no I think Michael started that has a really nice guy but he just turned into the villain pretty quick because of the way he treated Amber and the whole situation there because he didn't really own it all but I'd say well done to him on the handling of that I thought that was very mature of him to do that so yeah I thought that was mature of him to do that so he went off and you know went out by saying his goodbyes of course everyone was sad to see him go and people were sad to see Francesca go of course as well and she didn't get to find love now what was interesting is that has that ended on Sunday they must have definitely you know got a jet or put him on the first air, air, airplane out of there because he was on after sun now I hardly ever watch after sun to be fair but um I caught it this time because I won't see him squirm and certainly did he squirm and they put him on there with Joanna too but what I found interesting was whilst he was trying to, you know, he was still trying to dodge his questions and he was still lying. He was say, still saying things like he liked Amber and he liked Joanna. But to me, I found it really interesting because it was seemed like now he was, because Amber had moved on with Greg, it seemed like now he was like, all right, let me see if I can get back with Joanna. So Joanna, I hope you do not pick up this guy again, but you know, if you do, that's your business. But anyway, and I'm minding mine. <laughs> but anyway, I don't understand at all. He just seemed very strange to me. But I will say this, that I do hope, because yes, he, you know, is a bit of a dickhead. We all know that he's been a major dickhead on the show. But I'm hoping that, you know, like all I say is all in banter, it's all in lightheartedness and we don't want no one taking anything seriously. Because sometimes social media can be serious out there and we don't want no one committing suicide or doing anything like that. So please people, take it easy, easy on them now that they're out, Michael, and on um, when poor um, Holly comes out. Like that girl, I mean, the memes that are going around about her, Lord have mercy. But anyway... Yes, people, take it easy. We like the banter, we like the jokes, but let's just keep it light and simple. But anyway, that is the latest up until Monday, and I will be back with uh, another update soon. Yes, so thanks for watching that. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, and hit that notification bell so you know when I am uploading some more of people's business. So until then, my nosy people, stay blessed.